It's art, astronomy, and meteorology combined into one type of photography called solarography. You're seeing the seasons uh, and how the sun moves across the sky. Sam Cornwell is a solarographer. He says each one of these light streaks is a picture of the sun as it moves across the sky for a whole day. And all the streaks together are about six months of continuous sun pictures. In this shot, the bottom line is the winter solstice when the sun is at its lowest and the days the coldest. The top line is the summer solstice when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. Spring is somewhere in the middle. These solar graphs are also full of meteorological data. If you uh, have a look at some of these lines, you'll see they're dotted. So you can see where clouds were passing on that day in front of the sun. You can't take a picture like this with a smartphone or a DSLR or even a GoPro. So this, it looks like a drink, but it's not, it's a camera. It's called a pinhole camera and most are homemade. A tiny hole punched into an aluminum can works best. Instead of film inside, it's photographic darkroom paper. To take a shot, strap the can to a post facing south and just wait about six months. When you reveal that piece of paper from inside and you take it out, suddenly several things click in your head, how it works and how simple it is uh, to do with optics, to do with light, to do with the seasons, to do with how Earth moves. Sam has become a solography junkie. He even makes pinhole cameras for people in his home workshop. And recently he took the first ever solography time-lapse he calls the solar can matrix. Understanding yourself, the way the world works a bit better is a, a really good feeling and, and helps you make sense of the world. Meteorologist Corey Reppen Hagen, 9 News. And Cornwell says the pinhole cameras are really easy to make yourself with things you might just have around the house, but you can also buy pre-assembled on online materials. We'll include all the links on 9news.com.